In my previous video, we have seen the implementation of sample table and the parser. In this video, I will cover the implementation of the top level assembler module. The top level assembler module is implemented in the C main function, which takes uh, two parameters. The first parameter will be the source file of our assembly code. And the second parameter, it is optional. You can specify a target machine code file or by default, use the same file name as the assembly and replace the extension name from ASM to hack. This process is handled here. The program will first to check whether the uh, parameter number is uh, less than two. Parameter number zero is a uh, uh, is a is a abstract file path of the executable of our assembler. The 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 uh, parameter number one is the input of uh, assembly uh, source code. The the parameter number two is a uh, machine code. Let's have a have a look. First, we need to build our executable. I have set up the uh, build script, which is uh, here. Here is uh, is my build script, so I can directly click this uh, terminal, run build task. Once you see successfully, an uh, uh, executable file is, appears in the file directory. We can do this. Uh, dot slash means uh, select the current uh, directory and uh, my assembler. Uh, instead of CPP, tab, press tab again to find the executable. If I just uh, input this, it won't. Uh, it will give me a exception because uh, there is no source code, source assembly code specified. Let's have a look. Yeah, here's a exception through from this line. So I need to uh, uh, give a the uh, the path to a source code. My source code is located in this uh, test ASM folder. Let's uh, full screen. And uh, let's do this, uh, resort dot ASM. Test ASM, then a resort ASM. It executes. As you can see here is a pre -pass. My program read each line in the source code and uh, put it into a queue for later process. In the pre pass, the first uh, task is to remove the comments because the comments are for human read. Assembler, uh, it may interfere assembler's uh, behavior. Such a, such as this line and a uh, uh, comment uh, following the assembly code. What I used here is to use a string, use a find function in string class to find a double slash, and this will return an index in the uh, inside that uh, string, which is this line. I will keep the line from beginning 
to this index. For this line, it, of course, the beginning is the index. The entire line will be removed. Let's consider this uh, case. The comment is uh, after a valid instruction. So only the second half will be removed and keep the first half. Anything before this uh, double slash. Next, we will also need to remove the uh, spaces. You can see there are many spaces which may also interfere a similar uh, behavior. So we need to remove those spaces. A space may appear before or after, even in the valid assembly code. What I used here is a remove function from algorithm uh, class here, imported, uh, included here. It will return a, a string iterator. String iterator is uh, uh, basically each character inside a, a string. It will uh, uh, search for all empty, all uh, blank spaces, and put it uh, as a string iterator, and then use a erase function from the string class to explicitly remove each blank space. After that, I put the processed uh, string into the first queue. Remember that uh, here I declared uh, two queues. It is uh, used uh, to temporarily store the intermediate uh, information between passes, pre-pass, first pass, and the second pass. The Q1 is uh, used to uh, save uh, between pre-pass and uh, first pass. A Q is a uh, first in first out uh, data structure. When I uh, let's think about, you put this uh, instruction first, uh, followed by that, and uh, uh, one after another. When you uh, get access or uh, to to the elements inside this queue. You always access from the front. Front is the first uh, element uh, inserted. So do this, that, and uh, one after another. It is a uh, uh, suitable to be used uh, for this type of temporary storage. In the second pass, I. Uh, pull, pop each element from the queue and uh, do this search for uh, uh, if this uh, line has both opening bracket and closing bracket that's locating uh, the label lines here uh, I use a find last of uh, opening bracket because there are there may be multiple layers of uh, mm, opening brackets, so I search for the last. Last is of course this one, and then I search for the first uh, closing. First closing is this one. Then I take the sub uh, string opening bracket uh, index plus one is here up to uh, closing bracket uh, minus one which is uh, this part I take this part and put it uh, uh, into this, the sample table add this line to the sample table otherwise if the, uh, this line if if the line being read is not a label just uh, keep Incrementing the counter first instruction in the 
assembly code. Second, it's a label, so skip. Third, fourth, keep increasing the、uh, label counter, and then push the entire line to the、uh, Q2 for the second pass. Because this、uh, label is not used anymore in the second pass, I did not、uh, push push the label into the Q2. Instead, I do a continue. Continue means、uh, go to the next、uh, while loop, uh, next iteration of a while loop, without as executing the rest of co code. Now come to the second pass. I pop off each element from the front of the Q2 and、uh, put into the pass instruction function of the、um, uh, my parser. It will return a machine code, which is basically uh, uh, this uh, binary ex executable machine code. This one put to the、uh, parser. Instruction will get the corresponding binary instruction back. C out is a console display here for debug, and also I put the machine code into the final output file, one after another, each line for each line until hit the end of、uh, file uf. Until he until the Q two is、uh, cleared. After that, I close、uh, each input and output、uh, file. In C plus plus, you don't have to do this uh, because uh, resources are、um, automatically managed. But uh, uh, as a good、um, behavior, let's close them all, and then. The main function is written. The program is finished, and the output file is here, under the same location. You can also specify another location by changing the、uh, by changing the second parameter to the to my、uh, my assembler executable. For example. If I want to put the、uh, result in the top level, top level, folder, and、uh, give it another name, I can do this. Top dot hack. Dot slash means、uh, in the same folder as、uh, executable. I do this, this. As you can see, the top hack is、uh, appear appear here in the same folder as、uh, executable. Yeah, that's it. My today's video. Please thumb up if you do like it.